Hello, everyone. I'm Kimberly Guilfoyle, along with Bob Beckel, Eric Bowling, Dana Perino, and Greg Guffeld. This is The Five. <laughs> it's still to come. One college is offering a refund to grads if their degree doesn't earn them a job that will pay off the student loans. Plus, why three Ivy League schools are now suing some of their former students. That's next on The Five. We're all schooled up. Come out next. What's amazing, Greg, is that I'm actually a better singer than you. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. We didn't find that out last night. Yeah, well, did, did you hear you singing country music? All right, can we talk about my segment, which is colleges. Um, they are leaving their grad students, are leaving with overwhelming debt. We've talked about that before. One school in central Michigan, though, has an interesting plan to help its alums. Starting this fall, Spring Arbor University will assist in paying off student loans if the students can't find a well-paying job when they graduate. Three universities elsewhere, however, are doing otherwise. Uh, George Washington University, Yale, and Penn have all started suing their grads who can't pay up for the loans that they gave them. So very different approaches. I like this uh, Michigan story, Eric, because this is the free, this is free market competition. If you're a parent and you're going to pay for your kids to go to school, you would look at this and say, wait, they're going to actually pony up if they can't get a job? I would like to send my kid to that school. And, and that's good. Yeah, for a change, a yeah. school is accountable for what they're, they're putting out. Instead of just raising tuitions over and over and over. And by the way, what, the reason why tuitions are, are skyrocketing is because colleges realize there's so much money out there. The availability of student loans is so easy that they know they can keep jacking it up, jacking it up. We have a trillion dollars in student loan potential default on our hands could be a trillion dollar time bomb ticking it's the colleges f to start getting a little accountability sounds great well and the trillion dollar time bomb could actually be almost worse than the housing crisis in terms of its, um, it's magnitude the, it's the same thing it was caused by the same thing cheap loans too easy loans easy money that shouldn't have gone to people who didn't deserve it or couldn't afford it and exasperated by people not being able to find a job Kimberly one of the things uh -huh. that's a problem at these schools is uh, recommendations to students that they take a course, uh, or take a major or a, uh, maybe a minor in subjects that aren't getting them jobs. Law schools, actually, this is a problem with too many people going to law school and not enough legal jobs. Do you think that this will start a trend in that field? <laughs> To say that people shouldn't go to law school now if they can't or, get a no, job. Th or that a law school would say, we'll make sure that if we can't, if you don't find right. a job after going to our law school, we will pay you back. I think if you're a large uh, law school, that's going to be more difficult to make that kind of guarantee because it doesn't make sense financially. But if you're a smaller um, law school and you want to attract people to come, sure. I mean, doesn't that sound like a good idea? It's like, you know, money back guarantee. If we don't help you get a job, if you're not able to pay your bills, then we're going to give you kind of a rebate back. Bob, you have kids that are uh, one of college age and one that's going to be. Do you like this idea? I, I do like the idea of the Michigan University. Uh, let me say this. There's a distinction, though. Those students there are mostly getting Sally Mae loans. The students at Yale and Penn and GW, which are three of the most expensive, of GW, the most expensive university in the country, these are loans the school made directly to the students. They were Perkins loans. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. they, and now they're going after them. Otherwise, the school would have to pay them back, so they're going after suing them, which I think is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, Yale's got close to a billion dollars in their, uh, what, do, what do you call that, endowment? Endowment. Uh, Penn is doing just quite, quite well, and GW is the same thing. GW owns about half of downtown Washington. I mean, the idea that they should go after these kids is absolutely obscene. But will you, what I, you said you wanted to comment on this, but I don't know what you're going to say. <laughs> That's not a question, Dana. Okay, well. You've been doing this for what years. What do you think? All right, I have a great suggestion that every, I, I'm, I'm coming from the opposite side here from the student. Okay, this is genius. Every student should stiff these expensive colleges on loans because after all, they need to learn the obscure term that is called capitalism and they got to pay for the fact that they've been churning out lazy, stupid Marxists every four years who <laughs> Trump, who put social justice before paying back a loan. So how do you solve this problem? You force all the Marxist professors to be in charge of debt collection. They got to go out and if they don't get the loans back, they don't get their salaries. 
That's my solution. And, all you and they'll become capital. They'll become capitalists before you can save you know, Howard Zinn. There's Jim. only all, one. All it's a good idea. Out there, remember. Foley likes it. No, but there's a problem with it. It can't stiff the university directly. They yeah. say it goes into a default student loan default. Which Obama? Remember when he's, he's going to think about they're actually bailing the out professors student loans into into repo? Deck but collector. the money goes directly to the school, and then yeah. it's a big you know, pile of money you that we always. One thing you say we're sitting at a trillion dollar time bomb. Let's remember that most of these students will pay their loans. A large no. percentage of them. Will. That's actually not true. Like, there, we not have anymore. a huge problem. That so many. The uh, number was 63 percent. I saw of the increase in the number of people who are. Um, in the, at risk of default. Yeah, they, they're behind in their problem. payments. Yeah, I understand that. But but, but how will they case. ever catch up? And also, if you have 25 years to pay back the loan, that was one of the new rules that they put in place. I mean, basically, your life expectancy is over by the time you get a job and pay off. Uh, well, this, this is assuming these people are not going to get jobs. And I think the economy is coming back and they will get jobs. But you're not going <laughs> to have a trillion dollars default. That's the only point <laughs> I want to make, not scare people. But we'll have, right, because you know why? Right. There will be a bailout. Ooh, I'm not sure about that. Bailout Sally May? Yeah, uh, bailout this bailout it will it will be billed as bailing out students. Mm. And I so that they don't Sally get May. so that they don't get sued by the <laughs> university. I wish I, they would do I that. I bailed out Sally May when she got drunk that night. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I'm on the <laughs> Then, wait, then I took her to Perkins. I'm on the hook for two loans. Do they have the best chicken noodle soup? Perkins is amazing. They have you, potato You know pancakes. how tough Sally May is? I'm on the hook for two loans. I countersigned, co-signed with people. One of this, wo this woman people. died died in a boat accident, and they're still trying to make me pay it. Bob, well, who, who else should that's pay what, it? That's what the... Uh, oh, that's what happens. Hence the countersign. Hence. Uh, that's what you did. All right. Is that right? Oh, We're yeah. gonna is go that right? Yes. <laughs> we have such a great Gee, back half of the show coming up.